Okay, okay, okay! I'm sorry. I've just been watching everyone, and um, it's very clear that I don't fit in, so thank you for the drink. But, I think it's time. It's the fucking cars I work on. I fix this Big Shot's cars for him, but we have nothing in common. No, he owns the car, I just work on it. And, and I, know, I know way more about it than he ever will. And Hey, you know what? Hey, hey. Maybe that's, maybe that's what it is with people. That's how people are, okay? We don't really want to actually get to know anything about anyone, all right? You know? So, hey, Amy, you're a nice girl. You try and say the right things, but I think you're just, you're just way too nice for my pal Stan here, okay? Stan is a professional dating machine. He goes on, what, like three and a half dates a week? Stan, and tell me, what percentage of those dates are actually fun? 55%? Maybe. <laughs> but you know, hey, this guy, him, he knows more about dating than anybody probably should know. He alone is responsible for keeping all the restaurants and bowling alleys in Queens alive. Yeah. And he's what? Uh, what? Uh, 35 and, and, and still lives with his mother? Why not fall in love and get married? Ah, uh, you know what? Hey, no. You know why? <laughs> because dating is a recreation without anything serious attached to it. And Laura, hey, you know, Laura, you're a nice lady. Okay, you say you want to get to know me, I doubt it, all right? Because I'm in trouble, Laura. I'm in big trouble. Because for the first time in my life, I'm alone, okay? This is the first date that I've actually been on since I was 17. And on that date, I fell in love with the woman who would eventually become my wife, Debbie. We've known each other since the first grade, and uh, that we live about a block down the street from me. Anyway, after after college, we um, we get married, and after we, we graduate, we, we get a house. We decided to have kids, but she didn't want them right away, and neither did I, so... Issues, you know, we we stayed at it and we tried, but she just couldn't get pregnant. And I went to the doctors. The doc doctors checked us both out and said nothing was wrong. Nothing was wrong, and 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 we we decided, you know, yeah. <laughs> What the hell, if it's gonna happen, it happens, right? But you know what, hey, we didn't need anyone else. We need this. We stayed in the house every weekend, locked ourselves inside every night, and had wonderful sex, and just sleep, and eat, and just being, you know, and it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing that we had. And one day, 
truck's brakes locked up on the highway. Let's get out off the road. Hit Debbie's car. She was gone like that. <laughs> One lousy rainy afternoon. That was it. The worst thing that I've ever experienced. Hey, but you know what? <laughs> hey, well, uh, we're here, and this is the first time that I'm talking to another woman. Uh, this, this close is not a family member. Um, so, <laughs> you know why that is, though? Because I don't want to get to know anyone else. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't want to know anyone as well as I know Debbie. I don't want no one's gonna know me as well as Debbie knew me, okay? So no, I don't give a shit about what what goes on in the fucking newspaper. I don't care about what happens in the world. I don't keep up with current events, okay? The world can go to hell as far as I'm concerned because I'm in mourning, okay? And no, not for Debbie, for me, be, be, be because I, I I miss her. I, I miss her more than anything I ever fucking knew and. I miss her voice and her face. I, I miss her hair. I miss, I miss, I miss every little stupid joke she used to make. Her little feet and and you know what? And in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, I miss her tits. Yes, Stan, I miss her tits. So no, I, I don't want to replace her. So if you're gonna get to know me, you want to know me, Laura. You say you want to get to know me, then know what I'm feeling, all right? Because right now, I'm feeling grief and loneliness, despair, and emptiness.